Hi students, in this video I'm going to show you the reaction between hydrogen peroxide and a catalyst, manganese dioxide. Now, part of uh, this reaction will involve me doing a splint test because one of the products of this reaction is a gas, and when a gas is produced, it is very difficult to identify it. So what we do is we use a splint test. Now a splint is just like a glorified popsicle stick. That's what I'm showing you right here. And what you do, the instructions for this are in your lab handout, is you always would light it first and we do what's called a burning splint test. So when it is burning, I put it in the mouth of the test tube and one of two things may happen. If you hear a popping noise, that means hydrogen gas was produced. If the burning splint, when I put that in there, it just, uh, extinguishes, that means carbon dioxide gas was produced. So light it on fire, burning splint, popping is hydrogen, going out is carbon dioxide. Now, what if nothing happens with the burning splint? Well, then I will blow it out so that the edges are glowing, and then I will put it back in. If that glowing splint reignites, we have oxygen gas, okay? So you'll see me do that process during the reaction. But my two reactants are hydrogen peroxide, which hydrogen peroxide is always stored in these dark bottles because uh, hydrogen peroxide is light sensitive, meaning it would undergo a reaction if you let that sit there um, on its own for long enough, okay? So uh, I'm going to put that in my test tube. You can see it is just a colorless liquid. After I put it in the test tube, I'll bring that closer for you to see again. Okay, so there is my hydrogen peroxide. Okay, it's a solution. Now I'm going to take my manganese dioxide, which is my catalyst. It's just a black powder. It almost looks like iron filings, but it is manganese dioxide, MnO2. And this is my catalyst. So I'm going to put that a little bit of it into this test tube. You're gonna take some observations about what's going on. And then I will do my uh, splint test. So here's my catalyst. You see some visual reactions already happening there and you may hear some fizzing. So burning first, nothing happened, so blow it out. Now it's glowing, you can see the edges are glowing. Put that back in and you can see it just reignited there. So that should give you some information about what gas we produced. I'm going to just drop that in the water there to put out my splint and bring this a little bit closer so you can see visually what's going on there. You can see we have some vapors that have been produced in the upper part of the test tube and there was a fizzing noise as this reaction occurred. It is, it is also very warm to the touch, which would tell you that this reaction is exothermic, meaning it gives off some heat. So that is the reaction between hydrogen peroxide catalyzed by MnO2. One of the products is a gas, which you're going to determine based on the results of the splint test, and the other product would be water.